is the engine. And with the position in the front, this engine dictates the architecture of a car. With the Audi e-tron, this will change because the new technological heart is a battery pack which is located in the floor of the car. And this describes the main character of this car. That's why we came up with the idea to split the design of this car in two layers. A bottom layer which emphasizes the score of the power and the center of gravity. It's very visible, it's a very exciting and uh, expressive design worker. And in contrast, the second layer, the upper layer, which is super sleek and light. And this creates a really unique and new character for an Audi. And if you talk about the front, this front gives you still a very familiar look. But related to the new technology in the drivetrain, the single frame, we came up with the idea that the single frame is not a radiator anymore because there is no engine behind it. That's why we came up with the idea, what about we invert the single frame by color to create a new look, but still a very familiar face for an Audi. Really new for Audi. And um, if you talk about, oh, face is very new face. Um, the second thing is I'd like to talk about is efficiency. You know, for an aerodynamic, for an, um, a battery electric vehicle, aerodynamic is very important. And I'd like to tell you a story. This car is best in class in aerodynamic. There's a very clear, simple reason. Uh, almost four years ago, when we started designing the Audi intro, um, we had a first sketch presentation, and I chose the four best proposals. And I told the designers, I brought them to the wind tunnel, and I told them the proposal the model was the best aerodynamics to go to production. That's the result, best in class. And aerodynamics is important because it will extend or extend the range. But there's something even more important. Imagine that there's no noise anymore from the engine. That's why you're very sensitive to hear all the wind noises. Because of this aerodynamic, it's even up to high speed levels, almost quiet. It's a complete new driving experience. You have to try this. Um, Another very important thing is there's one detail I like to mention. It's my favorite detail. And these are the virtual mirrors. And these virtual mirrors, they improve not only the aerodynamic, they improve the aesthetic and even the function. And this is, you know, where Audi Design stands for. Technology in perfect harmony with design and with aesthetic. And that's why I really like this detail and I'm really proud how we integrate the rear view screens in the architecture of the interior. You know, we saw this detail, virtual mirrors, on many showcars already. It's the first showcase, the first car which goes in production of this. And always difficult to integrate these displays. We did it in a perfect way. Aesthetic and functionalized. I think that's benchmark. And if you talk about the interior, the interior is like the upper exterior layer. It's very light, very sleek. It's very um, aesthetic, it's floating elements with freestanding displays. Um, the layout is driver oriented, it's minimalistic, very functional. And I would say that the whole interior is an orchestration of shape, of materials, of light and sound. And that's why it's getting almost a very holistic design experience. And that's why I just call it, it's a smart space. And that's why I say, for me, that's the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, for us designers, um, the US market is very important, um, especially California. That's why we came up with the idea that we will have, or we have, a design studio in the US, located in Malibu, um, California. It's called Audi Design Loft. And this shows how important for us the US market is.